Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I am extremely, extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of the brand new fragrance by Rihanna, Riri. So this perfume launched this year, 2015, and is Rihanna's technically little seventh fragrance, I believe. And that is if you're counting, if you're only counting um, them not in like limited edition order. So Riri is a whole new brand new pillar fragrance this time around. It's com something completely different from what Rihanna's done in the past. And with this one, this was actually supposed to come out before Rogue. And the original release and the original lineup, um, when we first started talking about getting Riri, it was supposed to come out before Rogue. And for one reason or another, it got shelved. Whether that be, you know, they wanted to produce Rogue first or whatever, it was supposed to come out before Rogue, and it got um, shelved. So, and now actually having this fragrance, I can understand why it got shelved. Because this is an amazing, amazing fragrance that definitely um, took some time to make. So, the box for Riri looks like this. It's this kind of black, um, almost like up and down wood grain, if that makes sense. And then you got the center kind of cut out, and it says Riri by Rihanna. You got this gold border all the way around. And the top is a very vibrant pink, and it says Riri by Rihanna. The back actually has a like actual size cutout of the bottle. It's not a cutout, but it's like indented or raised a little bit. And then the bottom, you have all the information about the perfume, and it says Scan Me, which we'll go ahead and scan because you guys know I do this. Whenever I see these, I do scan them. So, if I have my barcode reader. I don't have my barcode reader. I will tell you guys later what happens. So, anyway, definitely... Probably my favorite Rihanna fragrance to date. I'm absolutely in love with Riri. So, the bottle looks like this. And it's this heavy, almost kind of designer-esque bottle. The top's got this ball on it. you got this um, that same kind of wood grain look sort of thing. I'm not sure exactly what they were going for with that. Um, and then you've got the bottle that says Riri by Rihanna. And this bottle is actually pretty hard to capture on video because it's just so... The liquid's kind of a weird pink color, too. So, and then when you, the lid pulls off like this, and you've got the sprayer here. Which I don't think, I just think, yeah, it's gold on the inside. It's not any particular color for the sprayer. So, the notes for this one are, top notes are mandarin, um, aged rum, cassis, and passion fruit. Middle notes are pink freesia, jasmine, orange blossom, and creamy honeysuckle. With base notes of Indonesian, Indonesian sandalwood, skin musk, benzoid, and vanilla. So, I will tell you guys, um, I just per got picked this up this morning. Um, but, I love Rihanna's sprayers. They're so awesome. Anyway, so... Top notes of this, mandarin, passion fruit, cassis, and aged rum. I definitely get a little bit of that cassis in there, and I also get some of the um, aged rum. That kind of gives it a very alcoholic drink opening, but it's not, like, super boozy and super drunk. The middle note, the, ma the mandarin and the passion fruit kind of come together to give this very, like, effervescently fruity opening. It's a super, super fruity opening that's really, really, really nice. I actually really like it. Uh, as it starts to dry down, though, this is one of the first perfumes that I've experienced in a very long time that the top, middle, and base notes are very distinct and very cut out. Um, as it starts to dry down, you definitely get the orange blossom coming out and producing a light and airy floralness to the fragrance. The pink freesia, the jasmine, and I, what else was in there? Um, pink freesia, jasmine, honeysuckle all kind of come together. The orange blossom being the standout. The honeysuckle kind of maybe being a little more out there. But definitely the freesia. You can smell all the florals kind of giving it a very floral heart. But you can definitely tell the difference from the heart or the top. Because it goes from this very fruity, um, alcoholic, boozy drink opening that's not boozy. But you can tell that the aged drum's a note in there to this very floral heart that's definitely more distinct than the top is. And as it starts to dry down, you get the benzoid, you get the musk, 
what else? Um, the sandalwood and the vanilla. I definitely get the benzoid. I definitely get the sandalwood. I definitely get the vanilla. Um, I'm getting the musk a little bit, but not very much. And that's also because Rihanna has put almost skin musk in almost all of her fragrances. And I feel like that's just kind of a signature thing that she does. As we saw in Nude, it was second skin musk. So, it's what it is. But... I definitely get the sandalwood, I definitely get the benzoid, they kind of come together to give it this very soft and warm base. The top, middle, and base of this fragrance are three separate, complete different things, and they do change quite often throughout the fragrance. Um, it, I've had the heart for, or the top notes for about five or ten minutes, and then as it started to dry down, I got the base for about fifteen or twenty, and then I went, or the middle I got for about fifteen or twenty. And then I got to the base notes of, for, you know, the remaining of the time. Um, the top and the middle don't completely go away, though. I will say that straight off the bat. They do not just dip and disappear. They do, um, kind of stay there and linger. But you definitely can tell the top, the middle, and the base from each other. Um, I will say that I, like I said, I just picked this up this morning, but my one of my friends has had it since last night. He sprayed it on himself around 8 o'clock last night, and he said at 6 o'clock this morning he could still smell it. So lasting power on this fragrance is amazing. It's not overly powerful, and it's not overly um, strong. It's actually a very light fragrance for what Rihanna's known for. Rihanna's known for very powerful and bold fragrances, and this one's very light and airy and fruity. I feel like this is a crowd pleaser, but... It's Rihanna's version of a crowd pleaser, and Rihanna has yet to do wrong on fragrances, in my opinion. I don't like her first few, but they're not bad. I just personally don't like them. They're actually very good fragrances, and they develop very well and change very well. I just feel like um, every, she does very well with all her fragrances, and she doesn't just commercialize her fragrances. So, this is definitely Rihanna's crowd pleaser, if she were to have one. So... There you guys go. There is my review of Rihanna's Riri. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Oh, sorry. Thanks so, so much for watching, guys. And as always, guys, you can follow me on Twitter Twitter and Instagram, A the S Perfume on Twitter, Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.